Hello everyone, this is the Minecraft Bells and we're here Hello. on our server. Wee. Wee. So the purpose of this video is to celebrate <laughs> our 99 subs. <laughs> Many YouTubers celebrate the 100,000 and half a million, but we celebrate the 99 subs. We're just <laughs> a little bit more modest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every <laughs> everyone knows that we we are very honest uh, people and we don't like crowds so 99, 99 subs it's 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 uh, it's huge it's huge it's huge so uh, right here over this volcano it's where you will spawn if you download this map because that's the purpose of this video you downloading our map and enjoying all the fun stuff we have in here so hey come over here Man, oh, come okay. on. Sorry. <laughs> so, I was wondering a bit. Sorry. So, well, this this all started with a, a very simple beginning, uh, just a hole on the ground, and very soon we start gathering stuff in order to make our farms, then automating automating them. Sorry. And yeah, so let's show what we have built. Yeah, sure. Okay, where where are you? I've lost you. Oh, oh you're in here, you're there. Hey, hi there. Hey. Hey, Hello. stranger. Hello, so, okay, let us go in. But, uh, well, uh, this is not the <laughs> proper way to come in. It's no. door is right, yeah. right over here. So, yeah. yeah this, this house is rather unfinished. Sorry, still yeah. work in progress. Yeah, it's cool, it's cool. It's fine. So, if you come right down here, uh, let me just adjust the volume because oh, uh, everything is very loud. So yeah, this is the storage room. Let me just do this and see many, many chests here. And they are all connected to our sorting room and process proce proce processing room. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, right. Processing. Yeah, right. Processing. processing unit or... Uh, yeah. So... Uh, which we will show in just a minute. So right here is where you guys can charge up all the fun stuff you'll be able to make uh, on this map. And it's one uh, hell of a power unit right here. It's connected to the two nuclear reactors outside that we'll show you in in a few but, secs. Yeah, let's just okay. show the processing room and yeah, the, yeah, yeah. And the piping. Uh, oh, let's the, show the piping back the here. Piping back here. So, so uh, here is ahead. what we use all this piping to sort everything that comes out of the our quarries and our processing room. It comes through this pipe and is uh, divided by all these diamond filters. Which took us a lot of resources to build because we did not uh, use creative mode whatsoever. Yeah. But it's uh, it's useful, I, th I think. Yeah, it's 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 very nice and uh, it's uh, it consumed a lot of hours, but I think it's it's it worth it. So keep going. Ah, uh, okay. So this is the processing room. Here we receive all all the materials that come from the quarries. We have here. Uh, come here. I'm following you. I'm following you. So, this pipe shows these these are materials coming from a quarry working right now. It goes to these diamond filters, and part of it already goes to be sorted out, and other goes to to be to be processed. We have here macerators for ores and such. Yeah. All those dusts will be used in these furnaces. Let me show them. Right here. Uh, unfortunately we have nothing being processed right now because the quarry is, is at basically at the surface and only mines cobblestone and stuff but yeah it works for real. <laughs> yeah. So here we have extractors for rubber and such. Yes. This little corner here. Oh. <laughs> Turn okay. it back on, please. So this corner here is used to produce industrial diamonds, 
and we have here our recyclers oh, which oh. we use to transform like cobblestone and sand and dirt into scrap so we can use in the mass fabricator so I think yeah this is that's all of it, it. Yeah, yeah yeah it took us a lot of work as you can imagine if and we, a lot of resources you, yeah if you play ticket you you will know yeah, how, loads much, of how much effort did we put into this really loads and loads of iron so yeah let's go ah, up what did there's you still one thing like uh, we didn't talk about oh the sorting part the wood sorting part is no 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 I was talking about oh. this chest oh yeah so yeah. here is where you can insert almost any kind of material uh, manually if you want it to be processed like you have mined a lot of iron you place in this chest and it will be Let all me processed do an example let's see yeah sure what could we... I don't know... Tin ore, there's some tin ore right here. So, if I... Go ahead and place it yourself and I'll be right down there just yeah, sure. to show it. <coughs> okay, ready? Uh, just a sec. Go. Go here, here the, the ore comes. And it's going down into the macerators, slowly making his way. Oh, there's some iron too. Oh yeah, as you see, iron there. Oh, it must be coming from the, the from quarry. The quarry. Yeah, yeah, it must have hit the iron level. level. Oh, wow. I can't speak today. Shit. <laughs> so yeah, uh, moving on. Let us let us take them to the quarries. Okay. Okay. Oh, what about the uh, wooding pr uh, process? Oh here? yeah, the wooding process. It's not. It's here. It's still right here. Well, it's not oh. uh, very prettified. But yeah, right. This is like oh. the oldest part of our <laughs> yeah, yeah, of okay. our initial hole. As you can see, we have a shitload of of wood that we can't even uh, spend because it's so so damn much. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I activated the the charcoal machine, which uh, will pump the wooden logs uh, from this chest. That comes right from the uh, the <coughs> tree farm. Sorry. Uh, you're excused. And it, it produces charcoal, which will uh, be pumped right through here. And woo, there it goes. And it'll be sorted into our storage unit. Yes. So, exactly. uh, mo mostly this machine is going to be. Um, we won't be using this because the new version of Tech it won't include forestry, so we won't be able to get uh, large quantities of wood. Yeah, that's true. But well, uh, still uh, in this version, it's 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 a pretty good asset. So yeah. turning this thing Perfect. off, and just let let us show the the okay. underneath of our farms right. before of anything. So here it is. Right up there are the tree farms. This is a, a small circuit that I hooked up to the farms in, to d detect the night and day cycles. Because, uh, as you might notice, uh, out there there were some solar panels. During the day, uh, they uh, produce yeah, energy uh, in t and they store it at the these bed boxes right here. And at night they are spending it, producing wood, and, and I think the wheat farm is 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 not connected. Oh no, it's still using the redstone engines. Yeah, yeah, because it's sufficient, and we still have loads of material to yeah. work with. So it's not, most, it's not the most uh, productive way yeah. of doing this, uh, of powering all these farms, but um, it does the enough. job. Yeah, right. it does it's the enough job. for our volume of. 
items and such. Yeah, so let us so fly so. to the quarries. So here they are. Well, we obviously didn't start with such a massive <laughs> digging uh, area. We started with those small ones over there, as you can see below the trees. But then we needed more. And therefore, we decided to create uh, these massive quarries. This one is still working. Let me show you guys how it's, how it's working. So beautiful. Oh! You see, I can see the the arm, the mining arm. I don't know why, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You can see it. Oh, I only I can only see the tip. Some I kind think. of a bug or something. Yeah, yeah. I can. I have no idea why, but yeah. Well, you can see it's, uh, it's working. working. Yeah. <coughs> and yeah, let's head off to the nuclear reactor. Like uh, this, all the, the power that comes to these quarries oh, comes yeah. from our nuclear reactor. Yeah. We have like uh, industrial craft cabling near our house. Then from our house onwards to these quarries, we use like an energy link that converts uh, industrial craft power to build craft power. Yeah. Which uh, gave us a lot of headaches to, to create. So, hey, that's a creeper inside, uh, inside now, uh, on top of our reactor. So, uh, blast doors, come on in, and here they are. Look at them going. So, this setup allows you to continuously produce energy without overheating the reactor, and uh, Therefore, there is no risk of exploding. Yeah, right. uh, the they are like they are yeah. like yeah. Uh, must, uh, much more unstable, like builds or configurations that produce a lot more power. Yeah, but, but you have to be true. very careful when you're doing that. So we've decided to use like a safe and a bit like uh, uh, a bit less uh, produ productive. Productive, but uh, safe. Very safe. Very safe. Very safe. So, are we forgetting something? I don't uh, think we are. Uh, oh, this uh, semi semi automatic farm right here that um, I oh. created it just to insulate some cable, some no, some pipes, some pipes. pipes. Uh, oh yeah, pipes, right. Uh, remember when we were um, using uh, lava as power? As a power source. Yeah. Right. Right. So. I basically, uh, I didn't even bother to build the harvesters and the planters. I just made it like a traditional cactus farm, but I hooked it up to the sorting system uh, using these two um, uh, obsidian pipes that collect items that fall from the uh, from f uh, on the near air like that. I just threw a seed in there, and probably it won't jam the system, but it doesn't really care. Uh, it no, will pop no out. It will pop out from the system, no problem. So I think the last thing that we need to show is the the Nether. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, so oh, and also we have one other player, uh, uh, which decided to go with the um, equivalent exchange mod. Uh, he's working kind in a secret. <laughs> but we don't really know where he lives. Yeah, I don't think he even has a house. He just has a diggy diggy hole. It's a riddle wrapped in mystery. Yeah. So onwards to oh, the, right here there was a a small room where we used to have the oh damn it I forgot I was in creating. Um, no big deal. Um, we used to have the engines in powering the quarries, but they couldn't do the job properly, so... They were not very we, efficient. Yeah, we changed it to... You see, here's the tip of a cable that comes... Uh, that's the converter from the... As Karnom said, from the... What Industri was it? Uh, converts uh, energy from industrial craft to um, build craft energy. Yeah, that's right. So. Onwards to the nether. It's called energy link or something. I don't, I'm not really sure. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. So onwards to oh, the nether. Damn it! <laughs> damn it! Fail. Oh. There you go. 
again in the nether we just oh so this is like a secondary system for producing energy we just bump like Wait, just just let me adjust the sound done oh, okay sorry sorry keep keep it go keep going keep going so this is our secondary uh, system for producing energy what do we do? We just pump some lava into these geothermal re uh, generators. One of them also gives energy to the pumps, and the other four uh, provide energy to this MFS u unit, nice. which we use to uh, to charge up like these Lepatron really crystals. Yeah, these really like powerful crystals. Oh, yeah. look, you can see like uh, what. The places where the oh the lava has been drained. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. I'm gonna kill that that guest with my considering my like nano saber. The, considering like the huge amount of lava that we have here, it's nice. Yeah. The only problem with this is uh, someone has to be in the Nether in order to generate. To load the map. Yeah, to load the map and generate energy and Otherwise. stuff. Otherwise, so. Uh, unless we're here collecting something like glowstone or I don't know something uh, it won't really work so usually yeah. we don't use this a lot yeah Sorry. In, in, just in case we need some massive amounts of energy we stay here inside uh, uh, away from the keyboard and uh, charge it so yeah it's just for the heck of it that we build it uh. So uh, I'll get. I guess that's, that's pretty much that's it. That's about it. Yeah. So uh, probably um, I don't know if everyone will uh, will know how to insert this on your server or on your even uh, single player. So I'll probably make a, a tiny tutorial after this, and yeah. I hope you guys download the map and enjoy it. Um, oh, I almost forgot it. Um, oh, this here is a well. If the piston works, this is a a garbage can. Oh, what? did you did your connection fail? Uh, I moved too quickly apparently. Oh yeah, when we changed. Oh, the, the thing about uh, coming out of the nether, yeah. right? Yeah, it did warn me. So yeah, right here on the on the on the inside of the house, I will leave a chest containing a full char fully charged uh, nano suit, so you can enjoy and explore like crazy. Okay, so let's type nano no uh, no not nano suit a quantum quantum yeah quantum right. Suit. Okay, here in this chest, you have all you need to survive uh, anything you might try uh, in this uh, in this map. Whee! So feel free to explore using the super nano suit that allows you to do stuff like this. And yeah, I hope you guys have fun. And yeah. Leave the comments below the first thing you did, and if it consists in using TNT to blow everything up, I will hunt you down. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Bye bye, guys. See ya bye. in the tutorial. Take care. Hello, everyone, and welcome back again. Now it's for the tutorial on how to install uh, our map on your. Uh, computer. Uh, first of first of all, I I have to apologize uh, since we st we tried to convert the the map which was being run on the server obviously, and it was a server bucket. Uh, therefore, it cre the the bucket creates these three files for the. Uh, three different dimensions uh, of the world. The problem is if you try to copy to your single player map uh, it only creates let's see if it's here, no it's not here, dang it. Um, 
uh, if you create a if you want to play a single player it only it will only create a a world folder and these two will be inside separated the problem is when I converted it to the single player um, type thing um, the, all the pipes vanished nothing was working everything was broken I don't know why but that, that's just the way it was so I, until we find a solution uh, I have to apologize again uh, this only will be this will only be available for bucket servers not the single player version uh, I'm very sorry <laughs> about that so well back to the tutorial so okay here's the server let's just see oh okay 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 let's open it like that see this should be your server and doesn't matter what uh, what name you have to your map world um, the process is the same so let's say this is your server just download uh, our map from the link in the description open the zip file and drag it careful not to drag it inside one of the folders but drag it in, in right here okay at the bottom and there are the four loops so yeah there uh, now all you have to do is copy the name of the map edit this the server properties folder change the level name from world to the Minecraft bills. Close it, save it, and you can close this one and run it. Okay, it's running smoothly. Creating, okay, it's successfully loaded. So now let's connect and hopefully everything will be properly properly linked yeah see now the pipes are in place on the single player version they weren't so yeah until we can figure out figure out a way to to convert on the on the map properly um, I have to uh, well you have to hook it up to a server in order to play it we're sorry and hopefully it will be working properly soon. So yeah. Sorry. Again, uh, if you want please download our map, enjoy, have fun and leave the comments in the comment section telling you telling us uh, what did you enjoy the most and thank you for watching I'll see you guys next time bye bye